and girls, we meet again in my channel for Mathematics Year 5, Whole Numbers and Operation. Subtopic is Place Value and Digit Value. Let's look at the next slide. Let's look at the content standard and learning standard for today's lesson. Uh, content standard is 1.1, number value. 1.1.2, to determine the values of the numbers up to 1 million. Number one is to state the place value and digit value of any number and also to write numbers in extended notation based on place value and digit value. Place value. All right, let's look at this number. Place value is the value of the position of a digit in a number. So let's look at this number. This number is 931,427. All right, so let's look at the place value. Place value 7 is actually ones. Place value 2 is tens. Place value for four hundreds. Place value for one is thousands. Place value for three is ten thousands. Place value for nine is hundred thousands. Place value, we are only going to write uh, words or alphabets. Place value, you don't have digits. So that's how you remember, all right? Place value of four. What is the place value of four? Place value of four is hundreds, okay? It's not four hundreds, it's hundreds. What is the place value of digit three? What is the place value of digit three? Place value of digit three is ten thousands. All right, let's continue to the next slide. Let's look at digit value. Digit value is the value of the digit at based on its position. All right, same number just now, 931,427. What is the digit value of each digit? All right, let's look at the last digit, seven. What is uh, the digit value of seven? So it's just seven. What is the digit value of 2? The digit value of 2 is 20. 20. What is the digit value of 4? Digit value of 4 is 400, 400. Zero, zero. What is the digit value of 1? Digit value of 1 is 1000, 1 with 3 zeros. What is the digit value of 3? Digit value of 3 is 30,000 in digits. What is the digit value of 9? Digit value of 9 is 900,000 in digits. So, boys and girls, in digits, you won't be able to see any alphabets. So, that's how you memorize what is digit value and what is place value. Let's look at example 1. State the place value of the underlying digit. State the place value. So again, now we are coming back to place value. Okay, what is the place value of underlying digit 5? Okay, so if you look at 0, what is the place value of 0 is 1s, 9 is 10s, 6 is 100s, 5 is 1000s. Yes, so the answer is 1000s. Now, uh, some of the children ask me, Teacher, uh, if, what if I've written the word thousand without the letter S? Will it be acceptable? Can I get marks for that question? All right, so we can use example as a name of a place. For example, a name of a place is Seremban. All right, Seremban. Seremban is spelled at uh, S-E-R-E-M-B-A-N. But what if you spell it at Seremba, S-E-R-E-M-B-A? Is it acceptable? No, definitely no. So the same thing goes here. This is the place value. The place value is thousands. So you cannot spell it 
without the S. Alright, so it must be spelled with the S. T-H-O-U-S-A-N-D-S. Alright, let's look at the next question. Question B, 650,119. State, state the place value of 6. Place value of digit 6. Alright, the first one the, from the right, the place value is 1s. The next one is 10s. Then 100s. 1000s. 10,000s, 100,000s. Yes, okay. So, it's 100,000s. Alright, again here, you notice, we have to uh, write the letter S, 100,000s. Alright, let's look at example 2. State the digit value of the digit underlined. Alright, again digit underlined, but this time is the digit value. So remember, when we talk about digit value, we only have digits. We don't have uh, alphabets or words. So what is the answer? Let's look at uh, digit value of the last digit 8. Digit value of 8 is 8. Alright, digit value of 8 is 8. Digit value of 0 is 0. Digit value of 1 is 100. Alright. Digit value of 5 is 5,000. 5 with 3 zeros. 1, 2, 3. Digit value of 9 is 90,000. 90,000 is with 4 zeros. Now, digit value of 3. What is the digit value of 3? Yes, it's 300,000. 3 with 5 zeros. Alright, let's look at B. Alright, look at B. What is the digit value of 0 at the back? Of course, it's 0. Digit value of 1 is 1. Digit or value of 1 here is actually 100. Yes, digit value of here is actually 100. 100. 100. Alright, partition. Partition means separating a number according to its place value or digit value. Let's look at the number. 657,983. Partition the number according to its digit value. Digit value. So we are going to see all in digits. Alright, so it's going to be like this. 600,000, 6 with 5 zeros, plus 50,000, 5 with 4 zeros, plus 7,000, 7 with 3 zeros, plus 900, 9 with 2 zero plus 8 with 1 zero, 80 and 3. Alright, boys and girls, we are going to learn about partition. Partition means separating a number according to its place value or digit value. 657,983. Partition the number according to its place value. Alright, we are going to go according to its place value. Alright, let's look at the place value. Place value means you are not going to write about digit, you are going to write with words. Let's see, what is the answer? Yes, just like what we learned just now, we are going to use this time, we are going to put 6 in front because we are going to partition the number. When we partition the number, 6 is in front. 6 hundred thousands plus 5 ten thousands plus 7 thousands plus 900 
plus 8 tenths and 3 ones. Example 1. Partition the number to its digit value. Alright, look at A. Partition is number according to digit value. Digit value means everything is going to be in digits. Alright, let's see the answer. Yes, 300,000. 300,000 all in digits plus 40,000 plus 5,000 plus 600 and plus 90. Alright, what about the next one? Partition the number to its place value. Alright, in place value, you will write the number in front. 500,000 plus 3 ten thousands plus 2 thousands plus 1 hundreds. Alright, what about zero? Do we need to write zero? So it depends. Sometimes you need you it, it is okay to write it down, but since it has no value, you don't have to write it down. So you can just plus six ones. Look at example two. Complete A hundred twenty thousand five hundred sixty nine into uh, partitioning the number according to place value. All right, we are going to look at uh, the numbers again. This is the place value of ones. Okay, we already have nine ones. Then this is the place value of tens. So what is the answer here? Okay, never mind. We are going to underline first. Okay, this is the place value of hundreds. So we have five hundreds. This is zero. This is a place value of thousands. But there's a value is zero, so we don't have to write. Then we have place value of this is the answer we're supposed to fill in. Then the last one is place value of uh hundred thousands. So this is one hundred thousands. Okay, now let's look at this all over again. So place value for the answer is one hundred thousands plus this this is the place value of yes uh ten thousands so it's the answer is two ten thousands plus five hundreds plus six tens and then plus nine ones all right, the next one. The next one is actually partitioning the number according to its digit value. All right, let's look at number one. What is the answer for number one? Yes, 200,000 plus 5,000 plus 106. So this is the end of our lesson today. So I would like to thank JBM Chikgu Wan for sharing his slides. All right. If you are learning uh, mathematics in Bahasa Melayu, you can visit JBM Chikgu Wan's channel for the other videos in mathematics dalam Bahasa Melayu. Don't forget to visit my channel. My channel is Rene Lai LF's channel. For other videos, mathematics in English or the DLP classes. And also, don't forget, I have other videos on uh, Technique Kotak Kotak. Alright, it's a new technique for Kebat Christians. And also, I have other videos in Bahasa Melayu, mathematics in Bahasa Melayu. So, see you next time. Bye.